Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. Here I have the Volkswagen e-Golf. This is a press car. I got this car from Volkswagen for two weeks and trying it out and so far it's been really nice. This is, uh, let me show you. <laughs> so this e-Golf is based on the Golf Mark 7. So there will be no no e-golf anymore they will stop producing it in december right now they're producing it in dresden at the transparent factory but then from january end of january beginning of february they are producing the id3 there um, this car has a 35 point something kilowatt hour battery and 100 kilowatt motor and it looks very sneak it's pretty low when you sit in it the seats are just amazing it can charge uh, DC with up to 40 kilowatt and AC. Uh, maybe it's the cable, I only seen 3.5 or something. I hope it was just the cable. <laughs> and different cables better. I haven't tested it out yet. Let's look at it. Let's look at the trunk first. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty good space in the trunk and of course there's always another compartment under here you have to, you can put the seats in front and you have the ski hole whatever you call it let's look at the back seats this is olivia all happy back seats have a lot of room even headroom and there's a light in the back and in the front have the AC running right now this car can use AC while charging and here we have air vents look at that in little pockets it's enough space but let's go into the front yeah go beep beeping is good oh let's turn the air conditioning a bit off now let's look what we have in here of course in the door we have mirror controls and unlock and lock of course it locks itself when you drive and there's no option to change that it just does it and here's the light switch normal analog light switch but that's fine the steering wheel on the left we have the cruise control buttons and the distance here and with those buttons you do 10 kilometers more for the cruise control and with set and resume you do one kilometer more in here you can switch between cruise control and the speed limiter down here we have the buttons for the volume on the other side we have when you have a phone connected you can do voice control and you have your buttons to go through the menus doesn't work right now because the car is not on but i showed you in a different video and few and go through all this and here's a uh, next song and previous song what's weird here in the front if you can see that there's a button and here you can s reset this trip here so this trip can only be reset here all the other stuff that you have in the car uh, you you control with those buttons here or in the infotainment system and let's go to this you have your climate your seat heaters this car this car has manual seats but they're totally fine and your normal uh, HVAC uh, buttons and here we have our infotainment system I get the wind away from here and you have home where you can change stuff and in menu you have then the normal thing like radio media your apple carplay and android auto your navigation your vehicle information you have three trips long term since charging and since start and since start uh, resets when your car is standing for two hours since charging of course when you charge and all of those three you can reset yourself but the since charging and since start also reset themselves and here you have other stuff you know like in every other car so many options in your bluetooth audio of course there's only one usb down here and it's hard to get to when the the car is in park and the gear is in park it's really hard to get there 
uh, when you drive it's it's fine but it shouldn't be <laughs> when you're driving that you have to adjust this then this is your gear lever and you have it in park reverse neutral d and b d means drive without any region and you can then put it the gear sideways and can select what region you want from zero to three so zero is no region and then when you press one time back then you have uh, have the car in brake with the highest region here you can turn off your e sound here you change the the mode of the car so normal eco or eco plus this is your parking automatic parking and then your parking sensors and on the bottom we have the uh, parking brake and auto hold function so in here you can store your phone that works really nice do we have lights yes we do and LED lights and we have lights here in the front as well uh-huh so what is that's weird so this one that they have to be out to be on okay whatever another compartment here for the glasses and you have your glove box cool let's look in the middle like i said manual seats the seats are really comfy but they're very low the seats and and this thing so when you uh, uh, like i said almost bucket seats so if you happen to go get into the car it's it's maybe i'm too old it's low and i have to go around this thing the id3 felt better we have two cup holders here and another compartment here works really nice overall the car is is great it's a nice car, the, the rims could be a bit better, but this is just for efficiency. I'm charging at Ionity right now. I'm not doing a charging test uh, right now. I just wanted to charge a bit, but I'm already at 82%. 26 kilowatt of charging, the battery is cold. In 48 minutes I charge this much, this is really good. This car doesn't have active cooling in the battery. So when you charge, the battery gets hot. Then you drive and you charge again, the battery gets even harder and then the BMS, the battery management system, slows down your charging rate. So a few days ago I, I charged, I did my Rakobi test and I had to charge four times and each time when I started charging it was slower and slower from 37 in the beginning to 16 kilowatt of charging at 10% at the end but it was also 30 degrees that day, it was a hot day. Uh, but other than that, uh, WLTP range of this car, I don't even know. I just drove 200 something kilometers at 90 kilometers an hour. So I think that's okay. But I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.